Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Thomas Arv Glubvik. I am the Senior Technical Specialist for Plant and Infrastructure here at Autodesk Australia. Uh, and what we're going to have a look at today is uh, something I thought of uh, in regards to the, the new command PCF to pipe. I thought I wanted to try and see what would happen if we imported uh, Imperial uh, layouts or pipes from PCF file and bring them into a metric. Um, so what I've got here is the sample project uh, and I'm just going to open up uh, one of the, the piping models. So the sample project that comes with Plant3D is an Imperial project. Um, and just to, to prove that I guess I will take a couple of dimensions just to show that. First I'm just going to uh, detach um, the XREFs just to to make things a little bit neater. Uh, and then let's have a look at some dimensions. So if we look at maybe the connections over here, switch to wireframe and just do a dimension command between the two node points. So you can see there we've got one foot eight inches, which equates to 20 inches. And if we look at that, that's around 500 millimeters. Okay, so all of this is in Imperial. Now an easy way to get the whole model into one PCF file is if we go to ISOs and then do quick ISO and I select all, I'm just going to do any style, doesn't really matter. Click on create. And then what will happen is inside your sample project it will make a user-defined line PCF file and you'll, you'll see the size of that get bigger and bigger as as, uh, as these uh, PCF files are, are made into one PCF file. So now that that PCF file has been created, you can see we've got to use the fine line PCF and it's 1.8 meg in size. Okay, so what I'm going to do is load up my metric project. And I'm going to create just a new drawing and I'll call it uh, Imperial to Metric. Okay, so here's my, my file. I'm going to load the PCF to pipe command. I'm going to look for that PCF file. So it, it's listed under the sample uh, project here. So I'm just going to click on that and go open. Okay, so what it's doing now is just reading the contents of the PCF file. Everything seems to be okay. And then I'm just going to click on create piping. So I'm just going to move that out of the way a little bit and click on create. And you can see there on the screen that the piping is slowly getting made up. So you can see here uh, the, the whole model has come in. So whatever I've selected. And again, if we come down and look at this manifold, I'll switch it over to wireframe, take some dimensions. And you can see there we do have it in metric now as well. So I guess just a good little exercise to see. I've just done it via the um, via the quick ISO. So you'll see that if we look at the properties, so the line number tag has come in as user defined. Um, but I guess you know if if you're going to be doing it by line number, it might be easier to select all the ISOs with a production ISO and select all the line numbers, and then that way you you'll, you'll get the line numbers in as well. But uh, just to show, we can go from an imperial project to a metric project using the PCF to pipe command. Thank you.